Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Dman Tech, on how to set up rendering multi-streak particles while using Menoray. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have a scene set up with the car from the Automotive Modeling Techniques course. I'm just going to go ahead and let's play this out and we can see that I have some particles applied that are just uh, colliding with the roof here. Okay, so if I were to stop this and then just go ahead and render this out right now, we can see the result that we get while using Metal Ray is giving us some rather blocky particles. Okay, so I'm going to save this render out. And if we were to actually come in and select the particles and open up the attribute editor, we can come down to the particle render type. We can see we're using a multi streak, but if we open this up, we can see that by some of our uh, uh, particle types here, we have this S slash W. What that means is that those uh, particles are best rendered out using the software renderer. So then what about the rest of these that don't have that? Well, those are actually best rendered out using the Maya hardware renderer. Okay, so let's try rendering this out using the Maya hardware renderer just to see how this will look. Okay, we can see the result that we get back when compared to our render in Metal Ray we're getting much nicer particles. They're not nearly as blocky. Okay, so this is Metal Ray, and this is the Maya hardware renderer. So then how can we get our background geometry, in this case the car, to render, render with Metal Ray? Because I like the way the car looks in Metal Ray, but how can we get that and then render out the particles in the hardware renderer? Well, to do this, we're going to want to set up some render layers. Okay, so let's close out of this. And what I'm going to do is with my particles selected, I'm going to go ahead and come over to my render layer tab. And let's just create a new layer and assign the selected object. So we can see on our new layer here, we have our particles. So I'll rename this our particle render layer. Okay. And now I'm going to come in, select the car group and just go ahead and apply this to a new layer as well. So this will be our car render layer. So now we have our car and our particles on separate render layers. So now if we come in and open up our render settings, we can see right now our car render layer is going to be using Maya hardware. I want to switch this to Metal Ray. That way our car will render out using Metal Ray. And then for our particle render layer, I'm going to right click on render using and create a layer override. And what that's going to do is now I can switch this to Maya hardware. But watch what happens when I switch back to my car. You can see that this is going to render using Metal Ray, but our particles are going to render using the Maya hardware renderer. Okay, so all I have to do now is just go ahead and batch render this out. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I do that. Okay, so our render has completed. Let's go ahead and open up our images folder. And we can see we have our two different render layers. So let's open up Photoshop and bring these different render layers in and see how we can composite them. So there's our particles. And let's open up the car. We can drag that in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down Control and Shift and then drag my car into my particles layer. We can see we have the particles on top but we need the alpha channel. So let's hop over to the channels palette and just control click on our alpha and I can just apply this to a layer mask. So that way we get our particles on our layer mask. Now, depending on what compositing tool you're using, uh, the process may be slightly differently, but the particles do render out with a nice alpha channel so that you can composite them back together. So now, I mean, we can make any sort of changes that we may want. Say if we wanted to uh, adjust the color of the particles, we can go ahead and do that independently from the car. Okay, so that's a look at how we can render out multi-streak particles in the hardware renderer and still get our geometry rendered out with Metal Ray. 